What's up everybody? It's Wolf. I gotta yell a little bit. Sorry it's loud. I need some heat in here though because it's fucking cold out. Um, we're working on getting the spark plugs off. Uh, we took this bolt off the other day. These ones are all kind of stripped. So, my goal is to try to get those off today, but we did take that one out. Put it back in that way, you know. We're gonna keep an eye on it, not get it filled with anything weird. No animals, creatures crawling around in their animals. No like spiders and shit crawling up in my head. Um, even though this is open, <laughs> that's open, but it's okay. We're gonna tear the head apart regardless and hope that there's nothing in there and we can clean it pretty easily. But I have my bag of sockets because so, what I'm going to do is post you guys up somewhere and try to get those off. Uh, yeah. I don't really know. Like, I mean, I guess... Put you here. Yeah. other wrenches, my other socket wrench, I guess. <laughs> we'll just use the big one, I guess. I mean, why not? I got the socket uh, attachments, I guess. I don't know what they're called. So you can use the big with the small, like three eighths with a quarter inch or whatever. And then a quarter with the smaller one. I mean, that was a lot easier to get off than I thought it was going to be based off of like what was happening when we were trying initially. I'm really confused though where it went, another one. Alright. It's a little ugly, but I mean... I guess, better than I was expecting. Oh, come on, don't be a cunt. I don't like that this one's being so difficult to get off. It shouldn't be this hard. I don't think. I don't remember it being this hard. Definitely don't want to strip those out or fuck them up.
it's definitely one of those things where you're like, okay, don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. <laughs> you know? Keep my phone out though. I don't know if uh, air's coming over or not. I'm gonna keep that in view. That one looks a little bit better than the other ones did. I'm gonna close those up for now. I need to get a scope to uh, actually get in there and see, you know. Are the rods bent? How do the pistons look? All that good shit. That one was definitely the hardest to get out of all of them, so I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, it doesn't look cross-threaded or anything like that. It was just in there tight. So, maybe that's the one that's fucked. Uh, I don't really know. Ooh. Oh, man. They all got a little bit of oil on them, for sure. That one was a little crusty looking. Um... I mean, from ghetto looking, they don't seem to be a problem. My thing is, if I'm gonna tear it apart, I might as well replace them anyways. But that's just how I work and operate. Probably gonna have to replace the coil packs too because I mean I don't know the last time they've been replaced so it's worth to do it but uh at least we got them off it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be to get them off so that's good I'm uh, more so worried about what's gonna happen when we put a scope down there in part two of this video uh, probably go to AutoZone rent one out uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that this weekend, or wait. I would like to do it this weekend just to get an idea, you know, of what it looks like. But, who knows. We got the engine stand here chilling. We got the spark plugs off, so we can scope it out and see what's in there, what it's looking like. Um, probably have some of the homies come help me with that part, just to uh, get a few other eyes on it. Um, Yeah, I mean, we kind of uh, did a decent job. I mean, it's only been recording for 14 minutes, so that's not a bad time. Not a bad time at all. Uh, I don't really have any other plans other than that. That My whole goal was to try to get those off because I thought they were going to be a lot more difficult to get off than they were. So, I mean, at least that's a good thing, I guess, right? Like, it, it could have been... Oh, dude, this door's locked. It could have been a lot worse than it was. Um, I'll put this, this is my, my, you know, for my bumper. I'll put this back in the car. That way it doesn't get broken or anything like that. I mean, it is already a little bit broken, but I don't want it to get more broken, right? Got no, no power to the car. Nothing like that right now, so we can't really unlock all the doors. Oh, it still smells so good. I miss this car so much. My goal is to have it done and working before next winter so I don't have to drive the ST throughout the winter. Um, realistically, that's what I want to do. But, you know, shit happens, shit changes, life happens. Um, definitely going to try my hardest to make that a reality. So, hopefully we can make it happen. 
If not, you know, it is what it is. Kind of just got shit laying around right now. Like the fucking... <sighs> One of the bolts is just missing that holds this onto here. This one, it's just, it's just gone. I don't know where the fuck it's at and where it would have went. This is why I'm waiting until I have the correct, you know, like storage units to put the shit in. Um, probably just going to get some like cheap ass dollar store type, you know, containers and put that shit in there. I mean, there's a bunch of random shit from it right here. So like not all hope is lost, like the bumper stuff, you know, it's like some more intake pieces. Uh... But, with that even being said, it's just like, eh, don't want to lose that shit, don't want to, uh, make a mess of things, right, and, uh, combine stuff in the wrong spot, so, we'll see what happens, I mean, if we can get a better look at the spark plugs, I'll try to. Eric was saying it looked like there was some metal on here, which I mean it's possible. They definitely are a little bit oily and stinky and I don't know. It is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. It's been real. It's been wolf. See you in the next Speed 6 Sunday where we scope into that bitch and uh, actually take a look at what's going on. Peace.